Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time watching my name is Melanie Kate Love and I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to learn to love yourself, trust your intuition and manifest your heart's true desires. So if you love this episode please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video otherwise you're gonna miss out. So today we're going to be talking about the weekly angel guidance from April the 30th to May the 6th. This week is extra exciting because we have the full moon in Scorpio, which is going to be either on Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. So that's the 29th or the 30th of April. So this is the face of the moon. So as you can see, we've got the full moon. This is when we release. So you say, I release anything that no longer serves my highest good. So this is gonna be basically taking up the beginning of the week energies. Then, when we move into Friday, this is when we move into the disseminating moon, which is asking us to receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources, which is amazing. I love this time because this is where I make a lot more sales in my business. I had never really tracked it before, before I started learning to manifest with the moon. And I noticed that I have probably about a 50% increase in sales during that time. So I'm super excited to see what comes up for you. So that's what's going on. I went through and had a look at the astrology for the full moon in Scorpio, um, which was super duper interesting. I'm not an astrologist. So I'm not going to talk too much about it. So I'll just ask my angels and see what they need to let us know. All right, so today I'm gonna to be using the Angel Tarot from Darian Virtue. I also have my Shadowscapes, oh, if I can hold it properly, my Shadowscapes Tarot as well. So I may use that towards the end, but we'll just see what feels right. So, oh, by the way, this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels truly best for you. You'll kind of know because you have a message that will stick into your subconscious and at the end of the reading you're like, oh my god, this is what I need to do. All right, are you ready for this? <laughs> All right, angels, what do my beautiful MK Love fam need to know? Whoa. Oh, good lord. We had two cards. The first card that I saw was the magician. This is, I've got the power. You have the infinity sign in front of you. You have so so much beautiful, like delicious energy around you. It's like if you can visualize it in your mind, you can manifest it into your reality. So maybe you guys are starting a brand new chapter after you release everything that no longer serves your highest good. Well, we constantly are starting new chapters. This is interesting. It says you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them, life is magical. So maybe, I know a lot of you are studying a new chapter. We spoke about this in the new moon in Aries. And we have also spoken a lot about trying to find our balance and making really complex decisions. So maybe you guys have gotten to a point where you've like, okay, I thought this was the direction that I needed to go, but maybe I just need to clean up my vibration and fine tune things a little bit. And as a result of that, you're starting this new chapter. And you're realizing that, okay, in this new chapter, I need to manifest some certain things. Or they're saying, what does it say? You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. So I wonder what is coming up for you when you see this card. Ooh. Then the other card that came up was the Knight of Water. The Knight is all about fast moving energy. And in water, it's talking about your emotions. So it's kind of like getting a hold of your emotions. It says falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions. We're getting a lot to do with emotion uh, about balancing, which is interesting because that came up a lot in last week's um, last week's guidance. An invitation to a social event. So, what do you see here when you look at this picture? We're getting the balance card again. So I feel like balance is always going to be paramount when we're starting a new chapter. So let's just see what else our angels have for us. Angels, what else do we need to know? Clarity on the Magician and Knight of Water. I missed that card. Yes, I did. 
Whew, gosh, well, we got the moon. Well, isn't that perfect? Isn't that fitting? <laughs> isn't this fitting, lovely? Mm -hmm. The moon for the full moon. Important psychic events, insights, events behind the scenes, release fears that hold you back. Well, that's fitting. Hmm. It's like you have two streams. I see this as like two streams of consciousness. One conscious and one unconscious. And it's like, what do you choose? It's like you have a beautiful dog here. Dogs are literally pure positive energy. And then on the side we have a wolf. So it's kind of like tame and untamed. So it's like finding that balance yet again. So the moon is a beautiful, like whenever I see the moon, I see that as like an an opportunity to grow and to heal. And it's really beautiful because what you thought may have been the direction in which, oh my gosh, I just looked at the screen that said 555. Ah, oh, synchronicity. Um, which is crazy because 555 is like a new chapter. So in this new chapter, maybe you thought you were going to go in a certain direction, but the universe had better plans for you. And I know what happens is like some of you hold them, like the old plans so tightly gripped in your hand, but your angels are saying like, just surrender to the process. Dude, we have this worked out. You need to trust us. And I feel like that you need to release everything that doesn't serve you because you've become unbalanced. I seen it, I saw it twice last week or maybe three times and I'm seeing it again here, the two different streams. What is that one again? That's the dog and then we've got the wolf on the other side. So it's like trying to find the happy balance. Seeing what's behind, but she's turning her head to one side. So she's turning her head to the side of like the wolf, the untamed. But she wants to find, yeah. I feel like it's just going within, trying to find the answers to your questions, which is what we spoke about last week because last week we had the hermit card. Ooh, wow, so we've gone from the Magician and then we've gone to the Knight of Water, which is fast moving energies in regards to our emotions. The need to balance emotions. Maybe you're just moving too fast and not having enough time to reflect and to really take care of yourself. So self-love is massive at this time. Meditation is massive. So this is a trend that's still continuing on. Which is interesting because when I go back to my notes on the astrology, it's all about stability and security of family and relationships, in particular with women. But that was just astrology, so we'll just see what else we need to know. What else do we need to know, angels? Wow! Okay, so I had lots of cards that fall. The one that I actually saw initially was the Unity card. I can't remember exactly what this one is called in the traditional tarot, but this one is, it says traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors or like-minded friends. So it's basically like you're starting a new chapter, you need help. Who can you speak to that can help you on your journey? Does this mean having a coach? Does this mean finding a yoga teacher? Does this mean... I don't know, someone that can help you out in this new chapter. This could also be going to a meetup group so you are around people who speak your love language, which is crazy because for the last two moon cycles, I have said that I, like I had written down in my dream jar that I wanted to exercise consistently. And it happened once and I filmed it and you would have seen Peter and I running in my series, Life of a Spiritual Soul. It hasn't happened since, it was like a one hit wonder. So I had that um, intention written out on a piece of paper and I burnt it on the last full moon because I was like, I feel like I'm putting too much pressure on myself and I released it, I surrendered to the process and I set myself free. Which is what is crazy about that is when I surrendered to that process, a couple of weeks ago, I was just searching for, I was actually looking for yoga activities in the, the new place, the new town that I have moved to. And for some reason I found a running group and I was like, oh, I used to run. Like when I worked on a cruise ship, I used to run on deck five around to get like fresh air because I lived underneath the water. Very rarely had fresh air. And I also ran a 10K race when I lived in London, but I had never ran 10K before. And what happened was I 
Mm. I don't know. The universe found me um, a four-week coaching program for running at a price that I could easily afford. And it is literally around the house, uh, around the corner from my mum's house in which Peter and I are staying until we find our own home. It's just crazy how everything works. And it was like I was seeking out to find... I thought I was trying to find a yoga teacher, but instead the angels bought me a running teacher. So it's just like, just release what doesn't serve you and just seek out mentors. But what you could be, what you're looking for may not be what you thought you wanted, but what comes is actually going to be better for you. That's a long way around about speaking about this, but I thought that may help you out. It's like, yeah, there's lots of opportunities, lots of different things that are going on thinking outside of the box. It could be like, I don't know. I know a lot of you go against the grain of what is considered normal or acceptable in society. <laughs> Most people that I speak to have, well, not, oh, how do I word this well? Actually, I won't say that at all. <laughs> Basically, the moral of the story is find a mentor or find some friends that support this new chapter because when you start something new, like for instance, when I became vegan, Everyone became like so worried about what I was eating, but nobody cared what I was eating before, you know? And then when you start associating with people that are on your journey, it's like, oh, I am. It, it, you just feel supportive when you're around people that get your direction in life. That's kind of what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, that was a long explanation, wasn't it? All right, what else do we need to know, angels? So we've got magician, knight of water, the moon and unity. So three major arcanas out of four. Oh, what is this one? Okay, we've got some fears coming up that we need to release. This is fears around money or this is around abundance and what you're trying to manifest. So the fear is coming in. So this is something that you definitely need to pay attention for to release during this time. It says fears surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So there is a, it's the five of earth. Earth is money. Five is a new chapter. So we've kind of got like a castle here. And then there's like an eagle flying around, like protecting it. But then this is actually quite like overgrown here. What else do I see? It just looks very overgrown. It's like you've you've allowed things to kind of get out of hand because of your fear. That's what I'm picking up from this one here. Okay, let's get chapter on the five of earth. Well, okay, that one came up pretty quick. Uh, okay, four of earth. So we need to take time to rest. We really need to really look after ourselves. So this is a lot to do with like meditation. Take time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. Well, meditation always provides answers. So it's like you've kind of, you just need to like, so the horse is basically like laying on a branch that is all twisted and winded. And you know, this is like, think of it like this is the journey to life. Like, or think of it like the entrepreneurial journey. It's never like a straight, like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get that. It's like the universe, shows you different ways and as you learn and you fine tune things and you you know work out exactly what you want but along the way you know it, it's a lot of work but just know that all of these leaves down the bottom have died but when things die we get a rebirth which is what we had in last week's reading so last week it said about making a decision and this one is saying, allow more time before making a decision. Maybe you made a decision and it hadn't, maybe, you, did you rush it? Oh my gosh, we're getting a lot about balance and decisions. And a lot of fears are coming up. Ooh, okay. So I feel like, I feel like going to bed earlier is totally going to help you out. I feel like you really need to take extra care of yourself. That's just what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this as like a big self-love practices card. Everything is like fertile. It, it's just like you don't need to rush it. It's going to happen in perfect divine timing. You just need to allow the universe to guide you. 
When fear is coming up, you have literally gone down to level 20 or 21, I can't remember, or maybe 22. The bottom of the emotional guidance scale. And you need to work your way back up. You are down in level 21 because fear is there and you feel like I'm not good enough. Say this to me, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. So because you've gone into like fear and depression, your body is taking, needs to take time to rest, which depression links, when you segment the word, it's like deep rest. It means that you are focusing on the past. Issues regarding your past are surfacing up at this time, which is beautiful because you say, thank you, thank you, thank you universe for allowing me to feel these emotions. Now, I have the opportunity to learn from this situation so I can grow, I can bloom, and I can prosper and become this beautiful butterfly. But it is okay because everything is working out for me. Everything that is happening to you right now is literally a lesson. It is literally an opportunity for you to grow. And you are doing the very best you can with the knowledge and understanding you have at the time. So just chill. You literally just need to chill, okay? Oh my goodness. We've had two cards about fear. We've had the moon card, which is about releasing our fears. And then we've had the five of earth. So there's a lot of fears that are coming up. I feel like you definitely need to find like-minded people. However, this looks like for you. Have a look on meetup.com. Like this is not a paid promotion, but I really love meetup.com. Search for events that are in your area to find people that are doing the things that you love. Maybe you could have a look for coaches online, um, in your field. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many things you can do. But yeah, the fears are coming up because you keep rehashing the old wounds. But send love to those wounds because those wounds have literally made you the person that you are today. So surrender to the process. I feel like you guys really need to do a massive forgiveness ceremony. Write down everything that has pissed you off. Write down everything that doesn't serve you. Write down everything that doesn't fit into this new chapter, this new you. What is holding you back? I feel like I need to be really stern with you because I feel like you need like a good... I heard kick up the butt. I hate that saying. I feel like you need a really good like, what are you doing kind of thing. Like, you know you are, are unstoppable. You know that you are amazing. Why are you allowing what happened to you in the past to dictate your future? Why? I feel a bit mad at you. But we got this card here. It's like you have the power. The universe is saying all the ingredients are right for success. What is stopping you is your mind. Let me pull another card from here. What else do we need to know? Whoa. Okay, we've got the 10 of earth. 10 is like completion. I should know one is completion. But this is a very, this earth is about abundance, financial security. Abundance and however that looks like for you. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. I feel like this is like finding gratitude in your present moment. Yes, it may not be how you envisioned it, but it is working out perfectly. Can you see we've got these two little bubbas here and we've got the mama bear. Is there a papa? Oh, there's two. There's like a couple here. So it's like maybe the, ch maybe, I feel like you are the children here. Like you are learning. I think that fits in with the unity card here too, which is seek out mentors. It's like, I feel like you're the, you're the student, you're the child. You need to seek out like a parental or an authoritarian person who can help you in this new chapter. You know, you can do things by yourself, which is absolutely fine, but it's going to take you a lot longer. But if you were to invest in somebody that could help you along the journey and accelerate your process, wouldn't you rather take that path? Like for me, I felt like for so long I have struggled in my business trying to do things by myself. And I was like, you know what, this is enough. 
I'm going to invest in my journey because I know that I am destined for greatness. I know that I'm attracting the right clients in my coaching program. It's so interesting. It's like everything is working out. You need to literally release these fears. These fears are holding you back. And especially because I get a lot of this fear, it just basically is like dropping down to the lowest level of the emotional guidance scale. It's like you need to raise your vibration and send love to where you are. It is okay to feel this fear as long as you are learning from, from this experience and you can move on. So, But if you don't learn from this experience, you're going to continue to make the same mistake time and time again. But the angels are saying it's like, Conquer the fears, spend time in meditation, find your balance, and everything is going to work out for you. Like this is a very, very positive card. All right, let's see what else we need to know. And then I'll pull maybe one card from this and then two from another deck. Angels, what do we need to know from April the 30th? Well, there's a two card. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. So we've had three nights. Holy shit. Okay, so we had the night of uh, uh, night of, uh, b -b 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 the night of water, which is about your emotions. Then we just got the night of earth, <laughs> which literally follows from this card here. <laughs> and then we got the night of fire. So we've got two extra ones. Right. So the night is swift moving energy. As soon as I see of night, I think of the chariot card. It says, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Can you see he's on his horse? He's ready to go. He's surrounded by so much beautiful mother nature and all its beauty. He's happy. He's content. He's very loyal, kind, very honorable, which is, yeah, honor your commitments. Follow what you set out to what you're going to do. Don't allow fear to, to step in. It's like you think about fear as like what um, Elizabeth Gilbert says in Big Magic. It's like fear can get in the car for a road trip, no problem, but fear is getting in the back seat. Fear is not driving. Fear is not even going to turn music on in the car, you know? We can say, thank you so much, fear. Thank you so much for like thinking about us and being super worried, but you know what? We've got it from here. All right, so that's what this one is about. Then we got the night of fire which is passion and this horse is actually moving you can see the horse oh my goodness a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully we're having a lot to do with decisions and balance again this week but i feel like the energies are a lot are moving a lot faster like we got three flipping nights three nights out of the deck where there's only one more night and we've got everything from the whole the whole tarot deck adventure self-assured i can't remember if the night of fire is the fastest moving energy in the deck i feel like it is and the night of fire doesn't really think with his um head he just follows off intuition he's like ah oh, that's what i'm doing da -da -da, and just does it which can actually but you're actually on, he's on the ground here. Like he's not on the water. So he's on solid ground. He's on such a mission. He's like, don't you dare. It's like, don't you dare get in the way. And I feel like, don't you dare fear get in the way. You are not going to mess this up. I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. I feel like this is a real sassy kind of reading. Which is interesting because I don't think I've ever done a sassy reading. I've kind of done a couple of readings where I was like, Ugh! but this one is kind of like, I feel like it's a bit sassy now. <laughs> How crazy is that? All right, let's move on to the next deck. This is the Angel, the Shadowscape's Tarot. Let's just see. Let's just get maybe one card or two for clarity. So we've got a lot to do with decision making and a lot to do with fears. You've become unbalanced and you're basically thinking about the past. But your angels are saying, you've got the power, you have what it takes, and you need to take action. Stop flipping thinking. Just release everything that doesn't serve you and just take action. You know, if your desire is to become a runner, put on your running shoes 
and get out the door. I don't care if you can run from A to B. I need you to get outside and get moving. Sorry if that's a little bit stern, but I feel like I need to be stern with you today, which is kind of like unnatural. It's so interesting because when I read for different clients, I'm like, ah! or others, I'm like, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. Blah, blah, blah. And others, it's like, Ugh. it's like you need this stern kind of like, Guidance. Can we have one card for clarity, please? Angels for this week. This is April the 30th to May the 6th. Ooh, okay. So we got the Seven of Wands. It's a fight. Don't feel good about this one at all. What do you see when you see this card here? I just see like it's a... There's a lot of aggression, there's a lot of anger, and there's a lot of differences. Maybe the differences are coming from the people around you. Maybe they're coming from your subconscious, but it's not emotions, it's wands. Just passion. Good clarity. Whoa. And then you got the fool. So this is a new chapter. Maybe this card is like ending the old one, releasing all of these toxic things that don't serve your highest good so you can spread your wings and fly and become that beautiful butterfly. The fool is like this new chapter. And we've had two cards to do with like a new chapter. Actually, these cards are exactly the same. Oh no, that one is like the dream's journey. But basically, it's like you're starting this new journey. Seven of Wands, I don't feel good about that. But then that's probably about the, the fears. I feel like there's going to be something that's going to come up on your journey that's going to like try and throw you off your path. And maybe that fear is coming up because someone said something to you. And maybe that's why the fear and the, the being unbalanced has come up. I want another card. We have clarity on our reading, please. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. So the page of wands. That's a beautiful card. This is basically saying, it's like conquer the fears. Conquer the fears and know that everything is working out for you. And you're going to be playing this beautiful violin, vibrating on the frequency of love in mother nature, surrounded by like, it's like when you step into your power and you know without a doubt that what you are doing is the right thing for your body, your mind and your soul. And maybe if you have a partner or children or whoever is in your immediate family, just know that when you like, when you truly believe in what you do and you don't waver, People can't throw you off your path, you know? Like, whenever I have people say to me, mm, maybe I won't say that. Okay, let's put it in terms of veganism. When I first became vegan, I didn't know the science or I wasn't strong enough in my stance to become a vegan for myself, like for my health, for the animals and for the planet. I wasn't strong enough in my stance. So when someone would say something, it would really piss me off and it would really hurt my feelings. Or I allowed them to hurt my feelings because I hadn't built up my self-love kind of armor or protection. And I feel like that is exactly what this time is teaching you to do. When people say things to you that throw you off your path or you get in your own head and you try and convince yourself that this is not the right thing for you, take a minute to reflect. Write down everything that doesn't serve you and I want you to light it up. Literally, write it on a piece of paper. Go outside if you can, or if you live in a flat, do it in your house in the bathroom. Light it up, like I normally sit on the shower floor. I light my piece of paper up and I watch it burn. I watch it burn until there is nothing left but ashes in the little tray that I keep everything in. 
and then I then sprinkle it out into my garden. <laughs> and it's kind of like the process of releasing what doesn't serve you. You need to know that what you are doing is the right thing for you. Like think of it in terms of business. I always think of it in terms of pricing. I charge what I feel I deserve. I charge what value somebody else is going to benefit from my services. You know, I'm not going to charge 20 cents for a private angel reading because I know that I am good at what I do and I know that it is definitely going to help somebody. It could like potentially it has the power to change someone's life. You know, what is that worth? Think about that because there's going to be people that are going to come you're going to come into contact with this week, or maybe it's just even yourself that's going to throw you off your path. You need to build that self love muscle. That's why love heals all blockages. Wow. So this new chapter, I feel like the new chapter hasn't really started. It's potentially started to like make its tracks, but you actually haven't flourished yet. You're getting there. It's like this chapter is a very slow beginning. But this new chapter is literally creating the foundations for lifelong success. This can be a lifelong partnership, a lifelong career, a lifelong family. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much involved. But I feel like this one is the card that I want you to focus on because this is the card that I want you to conquer this week. Anyways, my love, there is a lot going on this week. Just know you're going to start your journey on this beautiful chapter. You have the power. Along your journey this week, there are a lot of things that are going to be moving at a very fast pace. You need to keep up with it. You need to meditate. You need to release your fears. Program your mind for success. Download my self-love starter kit because in it I teach you three fabulous strategies. I've spoken about it heaps, so there's a link in the description or melaniekatelove.com forward slash start here. It's been downloaded over 555 times and I have received incredible feedback for it. It's a free downloadable, so make sure you check that out. There are a lot of things that you're going to be progressing through, taking time to heal. You have important decisions to make. You may come into contact of some um, confrontations. It could be the confrontation with yourself. It could be other people around you. But just know when you conquer this, your mind and you start programming your mind for success, you raise your vibration, you become this beautiful, what is she? I don't know, I'd call her, I would call her like a goddess. I think she's so beautiful. It's like these foxes here are like paying attention to her. It's like what she is doing, she is so in her power that she cannot be swayed. Oh my gosh, my love, what came up for you this reading? I'm sorry that this was a bit like harsh. I don't mean to be harsh, but I feel like that is the energy that I need to tell you this week. It's so interesting. It's like each time I read for you can be completely different energy. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this truly helps you for your week ahead. Please make sure you're doing your self-love practices. You are meditating. You are getting outside. You are looking to find the balance in your world, making in decisions that serve your highest good. If you're at a position that, you know, something hasn't served you, release it. If someone has said something to you and it's really hurt you, write it down on a piece of paper, burn it, release it and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I surrender to the situation because I need to set myself free. This is not about the other person, you know? This is about you. Protect your energy, protect yourself. Look after yourself first, you are number one. Think of it as like you, you're on a plane and it goes to crash. You don't put on somebody else's oxygen mask before yourself. You need to look after yourself. Then when you are in alignment with your true authentic self, then you can help other people out. Master your mind. This is a week all about mastering the mind. Mastering the fear, stepping into your power, release anything that no longer serves your highest good. Oh my gosh, my love. Well, I'll be responding to you in the comments. Looking forward to hear what comes up for you. Just know that everything is working out for you. Everything is working out for you. I want you to breathe in. Breathe out. Try that again. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. 
Wow. What a week. What a week. What a week. You got three night cards. I don't think I've ever pulled that. I'm going to leave you because this reading is ridiculously long. Ridiculously long. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. If you've made it to this far in the video, what I want you to type right now, if you don't write anything else, is just hashtag release blockages in all capital letters. So hashtag release blockages if you've made it this far because then I would know that you're my true MK love like VIPs because that would be really, really amazing. Yeah, can't wait to chat to you. Sorry if I was a bit harsh, but I know you can take it and you've got this, okay? I love you. I'll see you on Wednesday.